So y'all get uh, cold calls or telemarketers that just can't stop blowing up your phone? Any of y'all? Anyone out there in the back? It's kind of a smaller audience than I was anticipating. So anyone at the bar? Any you guys get telemarketers, cold calls, things like that? Give me a boo or a yeah, woo, we love them, right? We hate them, huh? Anyway, that's my job, so. Yo, what's up, everybody? So as we can see by the title, uh, Joshua Q went and did some stand-up comedy uh, yesterday evening. Blue, come here. Give me that ball. Give me it. Come on. Up. Let's go. She always wants to come say hi. She literally dropped her ball over there. And uh, here, get down first. Ready? There we go. Anyway, so... <laughs> So preface the backstory on this stand-up. I've never done stand-up in my life. I've never written comedy. Blue's really getting after with this ball right now. Come on. Catch. Uh-oh. Good girl. So I've never done stand-up, uh, never written comedy, X, Y, Z. So I'm invited to do stand-up this, this past Friday, and I did it last evening. I will say that there was literally, by the time I got on stage, everyone kind of got spun out of there uh, by some other performers, I suppose. There was six people in the entire bar. And the bar I'm talking is about 15 size of, I uh, can hardly speak today, 18 times bigger. You better get better at catching that. Good girl. About 18 times bigger than this place. Anyway, here's the content you guys have been waiting for. Let me just roll right into it. And thanks for being here. Yeah, yeah. No, no, please. Thank you, brother. Are you going on next? I suppose so, yeah. Move this. I tend to walk around. I like that song a lot. I like it a lot. You ready, bro? Yeah. All right, here we go. Uh, Josh, what's your comedic Joshua. Name? Joshua. That's just fine. Joshua Tree. I ain't come up with one yet. All right, your, your comedic name is Joshua Tree. Okay. Here you go. I think yeah. there's a place, actually, a business. I think it went out. This went out? No? Okay, hey, we're, we're live, yeah? Yes. Killer. Hey, so uh, Alex right here. Uh, my name is Joshua. He, uh, I met him Friday. He invited me to come do an open mic. Never done comedy, never written comedy, and I figured I'd give it my best shot. So I hope I uh, can bear y'all with me to this evening. So I tend to overthink most things in life, just like an open mic. So I'm thinking, an open mic, you know, what's the opposite of that? So I'm, you know, closed mic. What is a closed mic? So I'm, you know, it's, that's more of a hidden mic, Joshua. So anyway, welcome to Joshua's found mic. Yeah, I, I appreciate it. Pretty uh, lackluster audience this evening. No worries. So Alex here invited me again to do this, uh, this stand-up with you all this evening. Um, he's also on Instagram. His Instagram tag is uh, fatdonkey underscore. No dots, no slashes. And again, that's uh, F-A-T donkey underscore. Yes. And y'all bear with me. My, my day job just coming through there. A little bit over com com confirming there. So y'all get uh, cold calls or telemarketers that just can't stop blowing up your phone? Any of y'all? Anyone out there in the back? It's kind of a smaller audience than I was anticipating. So anyone at the bar? Any you guys get telemarketers, cold calls, things like that? Give me a boo or a yeah, woo, we love them, right? We hate them, huh? Anyway, that's my job, so. Yeah, well, thankfully, I'm, I'm reaching into businesses. I'm not coming after your personal money. I'm, I'm coming after the business's money. So, this is Bob from Alex, Alex Hodgins, are you out there? Alex? My name no? Is, my name is Bob from Medicare. No, so, uh, hey, Alex Hodgins is this lady I've been reaching out to for some time. Finally got in touch with her. I swear, this lady would have given me everything from her 401k, every one of her personal dollars. We had a really great personal connection. 
The moment I came after her business's money, a Fortune 500, keep in mind, Fox Factory, if you will, uh, you guys know the suspension. She shut me down instantly. And we wonder why the rich keep getting richer. We have the middle class defending their money. Anyway, uh, speaking of rich folks, went to the doctor today for a checkup. You guys get physicals and checkups cyclically, or are you like me? I haven't been in about 10 years. And I finally have decent insurance. I'm like, what the heck, you know, $20 copay, get my dick touched. That'll be the most sanitary, cheap dick touch I've ever had in my life. So, so I, I go to the doctor, you know, you check in, you do your paperwork, all these things. Nurse is asking me all these questions, you know, how much do you weigh? I'm like, you have a scale right there, you figure it out. How tall are you? I don't know, I hunch over a lot, probably lost a couple inches over the years. And then she asks me, hey, you know, any ailments, any issues you got feeling? And I get, you know, hey, I've, I'm kind of an anxiety-filled guy. I talk a lot, as you guys can tell. Then she sticks a thermometer in my mouth in the middle of me speaking. It's like, did you want the answer? Or did you want me to just shut up? You could have told me from the beginning, right? And I realized this lady also deals with a doctor that's quite like me, because she leaves after getting her paperwork and things, and in steps Dr. Madgab, hits me with a million questions, doesn't want anything other than a yes or no, he just wants to talk all night. And then, you know, he gives me a diagnosis. Hey, you're probably allergic to your boxer, that's why you got respiratory issues. And uh, we're gonna do some blood work, and you just need to relax, man. Which is like the hardest thing to hear from someone that's not good at relaxing. Like I'm overthinking relaxing, how does that even work? And he leaves, some lady comes in, does my blood, and the finance person steps in. And the finance person comes in there to talk to me about things, you know, and, and I kind of zone out because she starts talking about, we called in a prescription for you and your dog and, and you're gonna go get this medicine. And I kind of black out, you know, I just zone out because I literally smoke three bowls of shit to keep my boxer because I love her. And second to that, they did my blood work and I'm B negative. You guys know anything about blood out there? B negative is kind of rare. So I was kind of expecting them to pay me at this point. Anyway, she kind of snaps her fingers in front of my face. I come to, she's like, I see you're taking that relaxing thing pretty serious, which kind of felt nice for once. It's the first time I've ever been told I was good at relaxing. And she told me that I didn't have to owe any money. So my insurance ended up being quite a lot better than I thought. And uh, it's the cheapest pair of blue balls I've ever received in my life. Anyway, so speaking of relaxing, I got a buddy this past weekend. You guys have those friends that invite you over to hang out, but then they have like a, a pseudo meaning for you coming over, which is uh, we need some help with something. Well, he ordered one of those bed in a boxes offline. I don't know if you guys have seen them. And he also ordered an adjustable base offline. So I showed up a little late. I was hung over. The night I met Alex, actually, I was up till about 4 a.m. Show up at this dude's house about 10. So six hours of sleep, probably still drunk. I get in this house and he's asking me, you know, hey, help me, help me set this thing up. Anyway, he pulls out of this box. This thing's got six giraffe legs. He didn't measure his current mattress that he has. Always, it's all fucked. It's, it's not good. So we end up deciding that uh, we need to go to Bed Bath & Beyond. So you can imagine what it looks like. His other buddy was there too. So there's a group of three of us, me, him, and our other friend. We go to Bed Bath & Beyond. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Pokemon Go, but as soon as I park, the one friend just whips out Pokemon Go, and he's just tooling around the parking lot, catching all these different things. And me and the other friend go inside to try and figure out a solution for this guy's measurements that he oversaw. You guys been to Bed Bath & Beyond recently? Anyone in the, in the crowd? Bed Bath & Beyond, have y'all been there recently? Okay, very good, right there. I, I appreciate that, thank you. CEO jumped out of the window. I can see why. The store is fucked. And I'm, I say that in a very nice way. I, I, I just walk in and it's just like every other store now. They've got self-checkout. Uh, they have all these different varied products to take your money. All these different TV products. All these different things. And they, like, I haven't been in a while. But they now, it's kind of like a, a, a Bollywood version of Ikea, if you will. They built this huge center wall that makes the place like a circuit track. 
And my one buddy, again, is playing Pokemon Go. He's, he's over there doing his thing. My other buddy walks right over to an associate and asks him where we can find some bed risers for this mattress that he didn't measure correctly for his bed frame. And you hear the worst thing you can ever hear from a retail associate. I'm new, but I'm happy to help you find that. And they said it with passion. And I knew I was in for a ride. Because my one buddy's kind of, you know, he, he doesn't like spending money. He's pretty affluent. So he's all about the whole customer retail experience. Let me take someone's time. And we're sitting there. We do about three, four laps around the store. I hear my one buddy that's playing Pokemon Go cheer. And I look over and hope that he found what we're looking for. No, he just caught a Pikachu or some other rare Pokemon. And my other buddy, you know, we're still zooping around. And I, you know, I'm kind of on a different planet at this point. I'm like, how many laps is it around this circuit track before I find Beyond? For Adam Sandler, it was just one. Have you all seen the movie Click? Christopher Walken. Have you all seen the movie Click? Yeah, Walken. Yes, okay, so we've seen the movie Click, Adam Sandler. It was a comedy, but for me, it was a bit sad. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thank you. No, so the movie Click is, you know, Bed, Bath & Beyond. For me, it was like, I had already done five raps around the circuit track. I didn't find Beyond. For Adam Sandler, it was just one. Anyway, that movie was a comedy. Ended up being kind of sad at the end. Wasn't my intention this evening. Maybe it was theirs. Hope I can make y'all laugh. Thank you. Thanks, dude. Good job. Did my up. best, man. Yo, yo, yo. Give it up for Joshua, y'all. That was his first time on stage ever. And even attempting comedy. Great job, man. Dude, my best. Was fucking live. I, I like he told me, I'm going to do stories. I was like, do your shit. Do your thing. Yeah, yeah. You got a good, you got a good speaking voice yeah. and you're articulate, which matters a lot. I, I like Thanks, the story. Bro. Some people get up there and you're like, you can't even say yeah. that. Yeah. Joshua. Wish Popping his cherry, open my cherry tonight yeah. at Union Tavern in 2022. We're about to hit 2023, dog. Way to fucking accomplish it before the year ended. Yo, so that was it, y'all. For real, I'm, I'm going to sure you guys can tell I literally stepped off the stage. Blue is now taking a nap at my feet, so it put her to sleep. Hopefully, it didn't put you guys to sleep. I also, on playing that back, realized that the guy was messing with the uh, projector and what was coming on the projector like the entire time. I couldn't even help but notice that like I was like, I could still see the crowd and things, but like lights and everything kept going in my eyes. I thought it was some sort of disco ball, but that kind of explained that piece of the story. But hey, I look forward to doing more of these open mics, more comedy for you guys. Hope I was able to make you laugh. If not, I hope you're at least entertained and uh, these stories will get a heck of a lot better. And uh so will the stage presence. So I look forward to it, y'all, and, and y'all have a great rest of the week. It's Wednesday, the 14th of December, so y'all have a great Merry Christmas and a good New Year if I don't get to wish that to you before the next video. So, late.